Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jennifer, owner of Citrus and Willow Skincare and Citrus and Willow Advanced Aesthetics Courses. In today's video, we are back with another ingredient in our series of ingredients. And today we're gonna talk about another AHA that is a lesser known AHA, but also a very important ingredient to understand and know as a skincare professional, and it is called tartaric acid. I bet you guys have not heard of tartaric acid. It is a lesser known ingredient in product lines, but it is an amazing addition for exfoliation. It is an AHA, which as we talked about before, it's an alpha hydroxy acid. It is known for its antioxidant properties and its exfoliation properties. It's amazing to balance out the pH of certain acids like glycolic and salicylic so that it's not as strong, it balances out and it's better for more sensitive skin types. So one of the main things that tartaric acid does is, as I said, it was an exfoliant, so it's gonna even out dull, uneven skin tones. It's gonna make pores appear smaller. It's gonna tighten the skin, reduce fine lines and wrinkles, and it's gonna help with hyperpigmentation. It is a gentle ingredient, so check your lines and double check if they're using tartaric acid. It usually means that it's not going to be as strong and a lot of people with sensitive skin can use that exfoliation ingredient. Another reason that it's used in skincare products is because it is known for is astringent and keratolytic properties. So gentle enough for sensitive skin types, but it's still gonna give you that cell turnover, which is gonna give you the dewy skin, the glowing skin. It is an awesome ingredient to know. You probably haven't heard it since school, but I have found some product lines that do carry it, and it is something that you should know. It should be in your skincare encyclopedia. So what is tartaric acid derivative? from it is derived from grapes if you're seeing an ingredient on the back it could be saying some different things besides tartaric acid it could also be saying grape which makes it a very high antioxidant it's going to fight off all the free radicals it also helps to strengthen the slothing when it's added to a sal or a glycolic make sure that you know your clients skincare before you do that double exfoliation, I usually start small. I used to be aggressive when I started out and I'm telling you, it's better to start slow and build up to get those benefits without diving in and being too aggressive at first and giving an, a client skin irritation or a burn or any kind of adverse reaction, especially in the first time they're in your bed. As I said before, tartaric acid is derivative from grapes. So it is a chief acid in wine. You'll find tartaric acid in wine. You'll get those resveratrol, the added antioxidant benefits. And another great thing about tartaric acid, it also helps to maintain the pH of products as we talked about before. It's a great way to have stronger slothing, more aggressive slothing, if you're gonna multiply those with tartaric acid. Again, check your client's skin type and make sure that you know they're gonna get an additional exfoliation, make sure their skin can handle it. Some studies have shown that when broken down into derivatives, it can actually mimic the body's own ceramides. And as we know, we all need those ceramides for anti-aging. If you don't know, ceramides are the glue that holds our skin barrier together. It helps maintain a healthy barrier and a healthy barrier keeps out free radicals and seals in moisture. So you're gonna have that dewy skin, not the free radicals hitting the face and you're going to have that exfoliation and the antioxidant benefits as well. It is a great ingredient if you are using it in a skincare line, which we will talk about some skincare lines that do have it. One great thing about tartaric acid is it is not only exfoliating, it's really moisturizing. So you're getting double benefits as well when you're using it. You're getting the exfoliation and you're also getting the moisture in the skin. And because you're getting the exfoliation, you're actually getting increased efficacy with all your other products for weeks with the cell turnover, depending on their age, of course. What are the benefits of tartaric acid? It yields brighter skin with exfoliation, it helps increase moisture, and it aids in making other products more effective in your skincare treatment. Whose skin exactly is tartaric acid 
good for? Well, I would say all skin types. Sensitive, combo, oily. If they're a first time client, it's a great exfoliation ingredient to utilize in your treatment room, back bar. I really do like the effects of tartaric acid. It is a gentle, gentle exfoliator. It does help with acne as well because it has those antioxidant properties as well as the exfoliating properties. When you're looking at a product ingredient and you're looking on the bottle, if you're looking for tartaric acid, you will see it as two other names as well. It can be L-tartaric acid, it could be tamarind, or it will have its chemical name, which I will put on the screen because it's such a long one, but you might wanna check for that particular ingredient as well. It's found in so many different veggies as well, like bananas and grapes. You will find it sometimes in vegetables. It is a great way to get those antioxidants inside and out, actually, if you're having those vegetables. You wanna feed your body inside just like you are doing your skin as well. This ingredient is found in a lot of product lines. I get asked quite frequently about over-the-counter products, and I will tell you that I found that this ingredient is in a lot of over-the-counter lines. One is Polish Choice whom I love, I read her book. It is a great book if you wanna read something about skin. She is a biologist and she definitely knows about everything skin, it's amazing. And her products have a lot of this ingredient in it. And also there are some other brands that have it, like uh, Im there are some other brands that have it. So Image has it as well in their clear cell, which is the blue. And then they also have it in SkinScript. A lot of products in SkinScript have this particular ingredient. You wanna prepare your clients, especially if they're asking about over-the-counter. If they're asking about over-the-counter and they refuse to buy something from you, you have the knowledge now that you can lead them towards something that's good and know that they're gonna get good and know that they're gonna get good results. And I would recommend that Paula's Choice or CeraVe or Cetaphil. Those are the only three lines that I normally recommend. And I would say that if they're gonna get over the counter, they might as well spend the money to get the more efficacy from the products that you sell. But sometimes it's hard to talk clients into that. Give them the right stuff. They're still probably gonna be coming in for facials. And eventually once they start seeing their results, they will start buying your products as well. That is tartaric acid. I cannot tell you guys enough how important it is to learn ingredients. I have been studying ingredients my entire aesthetics career. I have a little ingredient encyclopedia. Look that up, you guys can find it. I think it's called the Ingredient Bible and I like to read through it. It's important to know these ingredients so that you guys can give results-driven treatments to your clients. You want to give them the results they're looking for in the best journey possible without being too aggressive in the beginning and not being not enough for some clients as well. And it could take a lot longer, especially acneic clients. Know your ingredients for that. It makes a difference when you're starting to heal acne with a client who has cystic acne especially. You guys can start small. I know it seems overwhelming. Just study one or two ingredients a month. That's how I started out. I got it memorized. And I will tell you that if you understand ingredient knowledge, you can work with any product line. It is so easy. Make sure the product lines that you are using though, utilize their education as well. Look through their protocol books, look through their ingredient books, and you'll learn a lot from them as well. If you're carrying a line, you should know that line like the back of your hand. You should know exactly what to be giving your client for those results-oriented treatments. I got asked the other day if I mentor. Don't forget, I do mentor. Let's do an hour. It's only $75 for that hour and let's help take your aesthetics career to the next level. I can answer any questions you have. Come prepared. We can do it through FaceTime, Zoom, or over the phone. So just hit me up at C&W Aesthetics Courses, DM me, and let me know when you guys want that help. I am here to help you with it. I love mentoring. I had to learn all this the hard way and I am telling you that's why I'm doing this channel. I love giving back and showing estheticians that anyone can be great at this career. Also guys, don't forget that Chelsea and I are gonna be at the Las Vegas Aesthetics Conference. We hope to see you guys there. If you see us, come up and say hi to us. We want to see you because we're behind the camera and we only get to know you guys through typing back and forth. So just 
Come up, say hi, and we will love to get to know you and see you guys there. It's great education and the booths are amazing. You can also get machines and everything at discounts there. So you're actually getting a really good deal. I love walking the floor. You learn so many new things. I've been in this field for 10 years now and I'm telling you, I learn something every single time and I love going to these conferences. You can actually meet your reps as well. Like I use Circadia and Circadia is made from Dr. Pugliese and I love that line and he's always at the conferences. So it's really nice to get that one-on-one -on -one with the actual creator of the skincare line. It's amazing. So make sure you guys are looking into that. If you can't do it this year, save up for it next year because it is so important that you're getting that advanced education and learning all the things that you need to learn to be the best esthetician that you can be, whatever your niche may be. You want to know everything as an expert in your niche and you will succeed. The Aesthetics Conference does such a good job of facilitating other Estes getting together and meeting. They have several places that they're bringing everyone together for happy hour and their late night opening party. And we cannot wait to go there and meet all of you guys. I hope that we see you there. It is such a great educational experience. I love going every year. I love going to Vegas and it's a great conference. I've been to a lot of conferences and I'm telling you, this conference is well organized well facilitated and you're there to learn and you learn a lot i love it absolutely love it hope to see you guys there if you guys like these videos press that like button subscribe ask me a question we love teaching you guys we love doing the research let us know what you want to know we are here for you guys to help you guys learn and grow your sd career as best as you can and become the best esthetician that you can possibly be see you guys next week